good evening everyone. It has been a cloudy start to the root week and many areas did pick up on some rain showers, especially through the morning hours and we're starting to see that final wave of rain move through our southeastern counties right now. Pretty much right along Interstate 70 from Paris all the way down into the Greenup area. Moving out of Effingham now, moving into Jasper County. So Newton going to pick up on those rain showers in a few minutes. But as we look at regional, we are seeing those skies clear out further off to the west. So that'll usher in some clearer conditions for the start of our Tuesday as this cold front does make its way through the area. And you can really see that cold front's effects looking at temperatures across the area. 37 in Bloomington, 29 in Moline. We're still at 60 in Salem, 59 in Evansville. So that cooler air is working its way across the two state region. And locally, it's about halfway through the viewing area. We're down to 47 in Charleston. We were just at 55 earlier this afternoon. 55 still in Paris. Effingham's cooled down to 51. And Taylorville and Decatur are already down into the upper 30s this evening. And those winds are also shifting direction coming from the northwest. That's what's bringing in that cold air to the region. Anywhere from about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Still have winds from the south, southeast, across our southeastern counties. But this cold front isn't going to be as strong as the one we're going to see later on in the week. You can see temperatures are only down to 44 for our high tomorrow, just above the average still. And we see temperatures back into the 50s for the middle of the week. But another cold front is set to slide through the area as we get towards the end of the week. And that's going to drop our highs down only into the mid 20s for Friday. And then we're only near the freezing mark as we get into Saturday. Before the overnight hours, only down to 30 here in Charleston with those rain showers ending. And we will notice those skies gradually clear through the evening hours. Wind's going to be a little bit breezy from the northwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour, so it will be a little bit chilly, but not too bad. And as we get into Tuesday, we will notice those clear skies to start the day, but that's going to be changing as we get into the afternoon hours. You can see by noon, we're already starting to see those clouds work their way up from the south, and they'll overspread the area as we get into the evening hours. So we'll start the day off with some sunshine, and then those clouds are going to fill in. And again, highs top out in the mid-40s, so we're at 31 at 9 a.m., 38 by noon, and we top out at our daytime high of 44 degrees as those clouds continue to build in across the area. Then those rain chances start to pick up as we get into Tuesday night going into Wednesday morning. So future cast shows that rain moving across our northwestern areas already Tuesday night, and it's going to continue to overspread the area through the day on Wednesday as we will have a stationary front set up right across the area, and that's going to allow those rain showers to train right across our viewing area making those totals increase as we get across the next few days. We'll catch a little bit of a break in the action as we get into Wednesday evening, going into overnight into early Thursday morning, but then another round of rain showers is set to move in as a cold front slides through on Tuesday. And so we will have another bout of widespread rain showers. We could see some heavier rain with this system as it works through, and then that cold front's going to slide through in the afternoon, dropping those temperatures. So putting futurecast rain totals into motion, most locations picking up over an inch. And again, the heaviest amount is going to be falling across our southeastern counties, where about two inches will be possible along Interstate 70, and those amounts could approach three inches as we get into Crawford County. But it will remain mild as those rain showers work through 54 and 57 for your daytime highs on Wednesday and Thursday. Then that cold front slides through, dropping us down to 25 on Friday. And then our next chance of precipitation arrives as we get into the latter half of the weekend. That's when we'll see a chance for a rain snow mix. Still pretty far out with those details, so that could be all rain or it could change into snow. So be sure to stay with Newswatch.